Coming up this week on Winchester Deadly Passion, Melissa Bachman is a Nebraska hunting trophy mule deer with Scott Kuhn of Deer Meadow Outfitters. And there is some absolute monster bucks running around. They're on an opening day rifle hunt and a couple of bucks measuring nearly 200 inches a piece are first to come back to camp. Not only is the hunting incredible, but Scott and Melissa are truly having a blast together as well. All coming up next on Winchester Deadly Passion. When you're out in the Nebraska Sandhills, well, it really is like a whole nother destination. It is like being on Mars. We were hunting with Scott Kuhn with Deer Meadow Outfitters. Now, after checking out his website, he runs an incredible operation. The pictures of some of these bucks were truly amazing. We're talking state record type bucks. We've been running a pretty intense management program for the past four or five years and, and letting the bucks get that four and a half, five and a half and uh, on up. Our location's in the northwest corner of Nebraska in the Sand Hills and uh, you know a lot of people go through the state of Nebraska but don't really experience the Sand Hills and uh, up here it's really remote and desolate and that's all the ingredients you need for growing big mule deer. Well we just arrived in the camp into Nebraska and we're at Deer Meadow Outfitters and we're going to sight in this gun make sure everything's good. I think it should be on but I want to make sure tomorrow is opening day. Looks like we're going to have pretty nice conditions the first day. After that it might get cold so hopefully we can get on some nice bucks. I'm going to shoot this. I'm shooting a 300 Win Mag on this trip. Should be a great caliber. I'm hoping to have most of my shots 200 yards and in, but if need be, definitely can shoot longer. You hit the cow on the hill. <laughs> Very funny. Well, guess what? If you bring me a cow and then go we're shooting, we're going to have some trouble. That's good. That's in the red like that on crosswinds. You're dialed in, ready to go. Coming into camp, well, I was pretty excited because Scott was actually going to be the one guiding us. Now, as soon as I got to meet him, well, I knew we were going to have a wonderful trip. I think this wind is going to make us walk. The question is, how many miles are we going to walk today? That's a real question. You're not going to miss me, get you on the beagle, are you? I'm not going to jinx myself on anything. <laughs> I will do my best. That first morning, well, a lot of the deer were up on their feet and moving. Well, with the extremely wet year we've had this year, we had more sunflowers than I've ever seen up here in the sand hills. Everybody swears that the number of deer is down, but that's not so because the sunflowers are five and six feet and uh, they just walk around in those sunflowers. But unfortunately for hunting them, you've got so many deer in those sunflower strips that you can't work your way into within shooting range without bumping everything out. Following her in the middle of the sunflowers. He's a three and a half year old. He's probably, probably 165 inch deer right now, but he's only three and a half. So we're keeping him, we call him Hooters because he's got huge fronts and his backs aren't bad either. Are you talking about the deer or the neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> no, the deer. But uh, in a couple of years, he's just going to be a giant. So we're kind of using him as a breeder buck and an up and comer. And he's, uh, he's covering some does for us. Now a lot of this hunting, well it would be going around and doing a lot of glassing. 
because we didn't want to be in marching through these areas spooking the deer up. It's a lot better to watch from afar, get an idea of what bucks were in that area, then make your plan from there. And that's a lot of how Scott does their hunting. And he's obviously been doing a pretty good job. They have been producing some huge bucks and they're able to keep a lot of those deer right on their property. So I was in for the ride. We were going around spotting, glassing, and we were starting to see some really nice deer moving. Buck on the skyline, yep. and a doe between him and the buck, and a doe to the left. A deer could be four, 500 yards from you one second, and you could look up, and they might be at 150, 200 yards. So I was pretty excited about everything we had going in our favor. He's a nice looking buck. Once we got in from that first morning hunt, well, we were absolutely blown away. We pulled into camp and saw two of the guys had already killed their bucks. Now these just weren't any bucks, these were absolute monsters. Both right around 200 inches and they got them the first morning. I think that's pretty good. What Only at Deer Meadows. Only. <laughs> <laughs> that like, is really nice. I like your attitude. I didn't take you long, huh? Well, that's cool. 7.30 and they shot theirs at 8. Yeah. I know, we heard. <laughs> we heard. It was a great group of people, everyone was having fun, and what better way to start off the season than having two giants killed right off the bat. He'll do the deuce, he'll go 200. Everybody squeals about, now you can't shoot them when they're big, but that one extra year, that's what it does. Right there. Oh yeah, I think he's all a 95, 95. If you're not happy with that one, yeah, you'll never be you happy. Better, you better go home. You better home. go home. It's all good. Well done. Well, after seeing a couple bucks like that come in, well, we were pretty excited to get back out hunting. And it really just goes to show you that when you're hunting an area with the right genetics, if you put in the time, there's a real possibility you can go after and get some of these deer. Now, just because you head to Nebraska and you're out hunting in the sand hills, well, that doesn't mean you're gonna get a monster. I don't care where you go in the country. It's a lot more difficult than that. But I like knowing that I've got the odds stacked in my favor that they're at least there. How good your balance. How close is he? Oh, he's a Okay. Here's your glass. I want to get a better look. He's up about seven eighths of the way up the hill. And he's laying down on his belly with his head clear down. How cold are He's all by himself. He's out by the light. They're all younger ones. So that tells me that the bigger one's over here with the dog. So we're going to slide back around. We were able to kind of sneak over the crest, check them out a little bit too small. But it was still cool to see and to know that we got within rifle range. Everything we needed to do, we did, and we were ready for the real game. With the train up here in the sand hills, it's very easy to get 100 to 150 yards. I don't like people shooting over 200 yards, even though they're well capable of doing it. Uh, we, we've got a huge success rate and next to nothing for lost bucks, just due to us making sure, taking the extra time and getting the hunter set up, we don't stock anything you know that we're not wanting to shoot. So we're not just out there walking for our physical fitness or anything like that, but you know you got to be able to get from point A to point B pretty quickly and get set up and, and get a shot because you know they can move away from you as quickly as they move to you. Well, I think what we'll do is 
go back to the truck and then uh, we'll get up on a vantage point and yeah, sit for about a half an hour, 45 minutes and see what's out and moving and go from there. Yeah, we got, we both got one. He's got a character point on that too. Yep. Started with another. Nice. One of the nice things with being in camp with a bunch of people who are having fun, well, everyone has stories to tell and it makes everyone excited to get out there and get back hunting. I figure probably 95 and 205. Yeah. That deep fork, golly. But it, tons, I mean, tons right there. Yeah. That thing can fool you too because he's got such he's long got, points. He's got this extra. Yeah. Extra he's got such long points. And Good mass. He's got yeah. a lot of mass. We yeah. could have a double deuce here. Yeah. Even though we didn't have our buck down, several people had already taken nice deer in camp, and it was only a matter of time. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cutting Back Digital, Hard Hitting Easton Arrows, Hunter Safety System, Winchester Repeating Arms, Swarovski Optic. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. And Golden Triangle Whitetail, your hunt of a lifetime awaits. Now we still didn't have our buck down. Might have been because Scott was our guide. During the hunt, you know, I don't know if this is public knowledge, but I actually spotted more bucks out Melissa's window than what she did. But then again, I'm sure you're just waiting for me to say that, so then you can say you spotted them. <laughs> <laughs> Scott is a ton of fun, always joking around, kidding, and I'm not sure if he knew how to take me yet or not, but I love that because I can feed it back just as quickly as he wants to give it to me. You're going to you make sticking? everyone think I'm calling you well, gorgeous. You're the editor. Was... You can cut that out. You don't have to air that part. No, no, no. I was saying I wouldn't the want footage. to be called gorgeous. All right? I don't want to be called gorgeous. Oh, come handsome. on. Handsome. Oh. You can call me handsome, not gorgeous. Well, guess what? But I just wasn't ready. It was like gorgeous. I was like, what the heck? Nobody uses that out here. No, they do. No, no. Oh, they yeah. still don't. You want me to use it again? No, I don't. <laughs> no. I can. No, no. What would you like? No. That buck is so handsome <laughs> out there. There you go. <laughs> Other than the bad company we've had out here so far, we've been seeing some amazing bucks. Now our guide here, he, he doesn't think we should do any talking here because we've got so much action. But we really have spotted a really nice buck. We've backed out of here. A lot of these bucks seem to still be rutting. They're pushing these does around and uh, he's a really nice buck, real heavy. So we've just kind of backed out that way. We can see what they're doing, watch them in the spotting scope and then hopefully make a plan from there. Well, this morning we've got a lot colder temperatures and the winds are coming in. We're expected to get some snow and as we were driving, we spotted a really nice buck. He's extremely wide, looks like he's probably like a, a seven up on the side of the hill. He's bedded with a doe. So what we've done, we've drove all the way up here. We're gonna get out of here, try to use this wind to our advantage. It's really cold right now, but if we can get in, we've got a strong enough wind, hopefully we can get up right close to him. No gloves? Yeah, no earmuffs? No earmuffs. You're a stud. I underestimated you. <laughs> we had a good wind from the area we wanted to come in through, so we decided to get out and get after that buck. With Melissa's buck, when we snuck up on it, the, the buck itself is, he's six and a half years old. He's extremely old and, and he's been on the downswing for two years. Uh, 
At four, we looked at him and, and he was about 180, 185 inch buck. But we thought with one more year, he'll really get into that, you know, 190, mid 90 range. Well, he didn't. He actually went downhill and we targeted him and we never got him shot. It's right here. Other side of the bank, about 200 yards. Yep, we got to stay real low here. We'll sneak right up here to this little, uh, this little bush up here, okay. and shoot from there. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, trusted brands, timeless traditions. Moose Utility Division, demand the brand. Bog Pod, versatility defined. M&P by Smith & Wesson. And Peak Antifreeze, right with your car and wallet. Peak, run true. Closed captioning is brought to you by the 4-in-1 Woodsman from Zippo Outdoor. I absolutely love big mule deer, probably like every other hunter across the U.S. And there are a lot of places that you can go after these. Alberta, Colorado, those are some of the main places people think of. The one place that may or may not come to mind, Nebraska. But they are starting to have some of the biggest mule deer that are being put out right now. In fact, where we were going, that's the exact spot of some of the biggest mule deer that I've seen coming out of Nebraska. We were going to Scott Coon's place, Deer Meadow Outfitters. Every year we're improving and, and expanding and, and our management practices are really showing up. Our success rates across the board, uh, archery is coming in at a little over 70% this year with a over 170 average. Our rifle hunts are gonna run around that same 70% success and uh, actually the muzzleload the past couple years has been 100%. Now, of course, trophies aren't all about everything, but I've always wanted to take a really big mule deer. On the last morning of our hunt, as we were getting ready to go out on our first stock, well, we spotted a really nice buck that was bedded up on the hill with another doe. We had a good wind from the area we wanted to come in through, so we decided to get out and get after that buck. He's on the opposite bank. Is he still bedded or is he standing? No, he's up. Okay. He's up with the doe. They're about 200 yards. Do you want to get this low? Yeah. We're going to have to stay low on this one. I'm going to grab Martin's pack. beautiful buck. <laughs> he turned broadside force and stayed there. Well, those other Perfect. does were up and I don't know what they kept looking at over to the right, but we had the sun behind us. We got us, the sun right behind us. We couldn't see right in our face. <laughs> All right. Good shot. Uh, well, I thought he was going to come right after us. I did too. <laughs> I was like, ready. I didn't get know another that. one ready. <laughs> I could tell it got him right in the shoulder. You know, it looked good, but sweet. Boy, this has been just an awesome hunt out here. We have seen so many mule deer, and to get in nice and close, I mean, we're what, 130 yards from 130, him? 130, yep. That's awesome. It just works out. You know, we've got good terrain here. We used everything to our advantage, and these bucks are still rutting. Those does yeah. stay there. He's not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out great. Well, Let's yeah. go take a look at him. I'm excited. That's awesome. What a Holy beautiful cow. buck. Look at the mass on That's this thing. That's a freak there. We've been hunting this buck for 
past two years. He's uh, really yeah. He's a six and a half year old buck. He's you just see just he's the, on his way downhill. But man, look at his body's run down. I mean, these guys have been rutting pretty hard. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. He's probably a third of the size he was body wise earlier. Really? Yeah, he's they've been running hard. Boy, in his ears? Is that from being so cold? They freeze off yeah, out they, here? Well, yeah, when he's young, when he's born. But uh, that's what makes him easy to distinguish. Yeah. We've actually been targeting him for the past two years uh, when he was at his prime. And he's the dominant buck, obviously, because he was running everything else off. And, Very nice. Yeah, it's cool to see. I mean, he had does with him, but he had already run that other buck off. Yeah. And worked out great. We used the sun to our advantage, <laughs> the wind. 130 yard shot. And yeah, beautiful shot. One shot and he went about 20 yards straight down. Very nice. Well, we've been out here hunting with Deer Meadow Outfitters and it's just been a great trip. We got Scott Coon guiding me. We've had a lot of fun, <laughs> a lot of laughs, and it's really just been a lot of, a lot of good times seeing a lot of bucks out here as well. So, we got a beautiful buck down and what an excellent trip. I'm looking good. I bought all this new camo to make me look slim and trim. And I've had a lot of compliments too. They, they, they're like, you know what, you're looking better. I don't know if they just want a better spot to hunt or if they actually like my camo. He's just a little sore because he didn't spot all the mealies this morning. Oh, yeah, I spotted him out of a window. I'm like, what about that buck right there? Yeah, the only reason he's looking out mine because I spotted too many out his. <laughs>